Hey y'all, it's me, your girl Tiffany, and I'm back at it with this YouTube thing once again. Yeah, me. But anywho, this video is going to be a little bit different than my last video. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead, watch that video. Not right now. Wait till you watch this video and then go back and watch that video. But yeah, check that video out. And this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to do a little Q&A today just for you guys to get to know me on a deeper level. Um, so that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be real quick and to the point. I actually have my son over here who's going to read off the questions that they prepared for me, my family prepared for me over the couple of days. I'm going to read those off for you guys. So. First question I have for you is, um, can you tell me some interesting facts about yourself? Well, uh, my name is Tiffany, if that you don't know by now. I am from Oakland, California, and I have three kids. Main things, none too important. Okay. Who is who would you say is two biggest accomplishments that you are proud of to this day? Ooh. Oh. One of my accomplishments I am proud of is Oh, I didn't think about this question. Um, maybe graduating from college. That should be one of my biggest accomplishments. And another one is raising my kids. Okay. Alright. If you had um to choose three things that inspired you in your life or three people who would that be or who what would it be oh okay what are three, three things to inspire you people well my children okay. my children of course inspire me they are the reason for who i am today uh, uh my man my king he inspires me and just to be better not bitter that's that's what inspires me just to be better at everything i do do you see yourself in five years? Mm, in five years, I see myself successful at all of the businesses that I do want to accomplish. I see me being a successful book writer, successful at YouTube. Um, I have another business idea that I'm not going to tell you guys right now, but I will be successful at that, no doubt. What would you say would be like some fears that you have? Ooh. Things that you're scared of? The number one thing that I'm scared of is to fail. I don't want to fail at nothing in life, from raising my kids, to being the best girlfriend, to being a productive citizen in society. I don't want to fail. Okay. So I'm, I'm scared of that. Um, why do you choose to do YouTube now? Why the, Oof. Why the choice to do YouTube now? Well, actually, I got pushed off the cliff last week, which I'm not going to get into it right now. I'll let you guys know more about that into the, my videos, but I got pushed off the cliff. Um, been wanting to do YouTube. Basically, it's time. Today, right now, it's time. It wasn't time last year. One time, three years ago, it was time today. So, that's why. Are you currently in a relationship? I am. I'm currently in a relationship. Um, I'm happy. Yeah, you probably will see him a lot on this channel, but know this, it's not a couple channel. It's my channel and I will feature him when I want. Speaking of channels, do you have any favorites that you can speak of? Oh, I do. I have a couple of favorites, but I'm not going to mention them right now because, what you guys call them? Clout chasers? Yeah. So I won't mention them, but in the near future, I will hope to meet them and then you guys know who I have looked up to for these couple of years on YouTube. It's a very interesting answer. Um, if you were rich, what would be the biggest purchase that you think you'll make? Ooh. I think you wow. spend the most money on. If you would ask me this two weeks ago, I probably would have told you. Uh, I wouldn't put it into my body. But now, today, I think I will invest. Stocks and bonds, man. That's what I would do. Invest. What's one thing that you want people to know about you? That I'm a hard worker and I'm authentic. Anything I do, anything I say is authentic. There's nothing fake about me on the inside. What were some things that you always wanted to do as far as a career? 
Because YouTube always your passion? Well, since I'm so seasoned in the game, I'm not going to say YouTube always been my passion because YouTube came out in 2005. Um, I was already in my late 20s with two kids, so I can say that was a passion. I actually just got into YouTube about two and a half years ago when I started watching YouTube, and I've been training for this day ever since. But I always wanted to be a business owner. Every job I ever had, it's always been making my own money, doing my own thing. So I always knew I was going to be a business owner some way, somehow. Um, what would you say with some of your hobbies? Like, how do you spend your spare time? Oh, I like to shop. I'm an impulsive shopper. If I'm mad, I shop. If I got money, I shop. Uh, I shop, 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 shop. That's one of my favorite hobbies besides being around my kids and doing whatever makes them happy and my man. I'm so laid back. It doesn't make too much to make me happy, but I do try everything once. So if you say go leap off this roof, I'll probably try it one time. If you were in a crisis, who's three people did you, you would go to talk to? Ooh, crisis. First person, which is probably not a person, but I would go to God. That's the first person that I would go to. Second person would probably be my oldest son, because he, he keeps me level-headed. Uh, the third person, well, I actually got four people that I go to, but the third person would be my man because his spirit and his nature is just, his energy is just something that you would want to uh, be around. And my mom, can't leave her out. What would you say to someone who's thinking about doing YouTube? Mm. So when I first started wanting to do YouTube, I was looking at the channels of like how to start YouTube. And all the channels was like, just do YouTube. You know, use your phone, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Man, that's some bull crap. That is some bull crap. The type of person I am, everything had to be right. So if you want to do YouTube, don't listen to what other people say. You know, they talking about do this, do that, do what you want to do. If you feel like you're not ready, and you don't have a structure and you don't have it leveled out of how you want to go because no matter what you don't want to just go viral you want to be viral so you want to structure everything around your age around your children around your family so i would say know what you're getting into and ask questions and research go to youtube university it helps um, do you have any social media handles? Is there any other way people can reach you other than YouTube? Well, glad you asked that question because I do not do social media at all. I do have a couple of accounts out there. You can check them out. I believe it's Tiffany underscore Dynasty Dynasty. I don't even know. I don't know. They don't even have a picture. I don't do social media. No. So I don't know. I'm old school. I will people are very old school. I just don't have time for the negative vibes. I see so much on social media that I can't erase. Okay. If it was one quote that you can use to best describe yourself, what quote would that be? I got a couple of quotes. But one quote for sure is that I stress out to everybody and I want to stress out to you out there in the YouTube world. If you don't know better, you don't do better.